Ya Danieli na Isa kana yakobo Uyu musu garaga Himara kubyara na Isa mbona ko mwana anja afite kibazo tanfaye ne cyabana Abaganga bambiye ko mwana wanje ashobora kuzahora ni ngora ne giye ari kujya ari kunwa cyangwa ari guse Hamurdei wifuza kubwirwa ko umwana adashobora guseka Apotsuri Ngiye kwa muganga Ndiye ndamukunda ariko ni ibintu bigoranye kubona ko hano bamureba cyangwa siko bamufata ndashaka ko umwana wanjye agira ubuzima bwiza kandi ndifuza ko yabona ubufasha kugira ngo agire ubuzima bwiza cleft lip and palate it's a congenital conditions where uh, children are born either with a cleft lip it means when the lips are not fused or an open palate when the palate is uh, not fused. This condition is uh, quite common. Uh, we estimate that uh, one over a thousand path is born with cleft. In a well-trained hands, surgeries are not challenging, but we are lacking surgeons and sometimes we may also lack teams around the surgeons, meaning anesthesia providers, nurses. We started working with Operation Smile a number of years ago. It was around shifting from the traditional mission-based kind of care to a much more integrated way of doing things through education and capacity building. Operation Smile is a global nonprofit that provides free cleft care around the world in 36 countries. We've been doing this for 40 plus years and served tens of thousands of patients. I became involved with Operation Smile and AI because my long-term dream is to bring more programs worldwide to a lot of countries who need it and to build local capacity. In places like Rwanda where there is a shortage of cleft professionals, leveraging AI allows us to bring the expertise of hundreds or maybe thousands of cleft professionals to that location. The use of AI in the surgical field may improve the quality of the surgery. For every patient that we take care of at Operation Smile, we take before and after pictures of them. We do tens of thousands of these pictures every year, and that's the data we use to train the AI system. Much of plastic surgery is subjective. Every surgeon may give you a different opinion about what they think about a result. Therefore, the objective answer we get from the AI can bring all the practitioners together. He has a two, which means on a scale of one to four, one is the least severe and four is the most severe. That means it's sort of in the middle of how severe the cleft lip can be. For cleft conditions, the before pictures help us understand the severity of cleft disease that someone has. Knowing the severity helps us educate the parents in the future on what to expect of the care he'll need. The AI is used for our after photos to help us determine the quality of our results. This is extremely important as we want to provide the gold standard of quality for all patients. It also helps us identify surgeons who can become educators for us. Today, we have tens of thousands of patients who have a cleft as a small child and they need those surgeries right now. 
Rwanda is a great example of bringing together the needs of today with what we're building for tomorrow. To achieve biosurgical capacity here in Rwanda, we should go by training, educating our, our people. Not only producing our own surgeons, but also working holistically on everything around the surgery. For the future, I would wish that one day we sit and say, OK, Rwanda made it. We have enough surgeons that we would wish. And our people are being treated timely and safely. That is my dream. So now, no matter what we see, we're not going to go out of the way. Who can even go out of the way? We're not going to go out of the way. We're not going to go out of the way. We're not going to go out of the way. We're not going to go out of the way.